Guys, I bring you the Beretta PX4 Storm from Umarex CO2 177 or 4.5 millimeter, 16 shot. Bit of back garden fun with this thing. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this little pistol eh, is not bad, not bad at all really. Um, it's not great. But it's not bad, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. And that's what you get here at Rack and Load, you get honesty. Good fun, yeah, definitely. Um, to gas this thing up, uh, I'd say a little bit fiddly. But anyway, let's take it from the top. I'll uh, talk about that shortly. But the actual uh, pistol itself is pretty cool. Uh, all the slide is all sort of steel. Um, feels nice and sort of heavy. Uh, but not too heavy. The rest of the frame is sort of polymer. Um, it's it's really cool actually. It's a cool looking gun, um, and it's you know a lot of fun to sort of plink with this thing in the back garden. Um, my gripe, I've got two little gripes with this uh, little CO2 pistol. I'll get to that shortly. But let's uh, sort of take it from the pistol grip end then. So this is obviously your pistol grip. It's all polymer, it's not rubberized or anything. Um, and then that's the other side. So we've got the PX4 Storm written on there and the Beretta logo. Uh, it feels quite grippy. And then it's all polymer, like I said, the, uh, oop, the trigger guard is. And then you've got like this uh, rail here. Picatinny style rail so you can add on a light or a laser or something just to make things a bit more interesting. Uh, single and double action with this uh, pistol. And the beauty of it is, and I do like these, that is your mag release there by the way. Press that, magazine pops out. I'll just show you the magazine. Focus camera, focus. You've got um, eight shots in each end so you just put your pellets in like so uh, best to use flat headed, flat headed pellets or wad cutters target pellets uh, seem to run uh, okay in this and you've got eight shots either end so you load up that end of the magazine and then you spin around and load up that end of the magazine and then just pop your mag in then like so, make sure you get it the right way round, that always helps. Push your mag in until it clicks. And then you can either pull the slide back to cock the hammer or just cock the hammer manually. I have got the safety on. Now I'll show you the safety because this is a little bit of a gripe of mine. Ooh, it's fiddly, I think it's fiddly anyway. That is on at the minute so obviously trigger's locked. But see this sort of grippy going on there? You've got to pull that back and sort of lift. So pull and lift. I don't know, it's just a bit bit of a pain, I think, to be honest. Um, but hey-ho, that's me. And to put it on, just push it down. You can't just push it back up. You've got to pull and lift. And then, like I said, you can cock the uh, the slide like so. Not much going on in there, you can't really see anything. <laughs> but it is your top of, the, top of the magazine. That is what you can see. And then release the slide. And then the pistol is hot and good to go. I'll just show you it. Obviously there's nothing in it, but there is a bit of gas. I'll just show you. So it goes with quite a pop. And there are your sights, combat style sights. Not bad, I mean, CO2 air pistols, they're not the uh, most accurate, we all know that. Um, power wise as well, they're not the most powerful. But you will have a bit of fun with this thing in the back garden, there's no doubt about that. 
um, it is good fun and it goes with quite a bit of a clunk, especially when you've put a fresh uh, CO2 bulb in. Now to load the CO2, or unload it in this case, I'll show you the opposite because uh, there is uh, a bulb in there. You basically pull this bit of the handle off, like so. It is a little bit flimsy, you know. Not so keen on that. If that breaks off then you're pretty much uh, screwed putting the handle back on. Uh, because it does basically just go in there like so. But I found this thing quite easy to sort of pop off. Not the best. And then, obviously, you're doing the opposite of what you would uh, loading it here, or I am anyway. Um, to basically open, you turn this bit here. Like the magazine plate. That's what it would be on the uh, actual real steel version. So you do that until it sort of hisses. And then you've got this wheel thing in here that you've got to undo. Undo that all the way. And then CO2 bulb will pop out like so. I found it a real pain, especially when putting a new CO2 bulb in there. You've got to drop it in. Imagine this is a full one. Drop it in and you've got to really do that thing up as tight as it'll go like that so it is a bit fiddly so you do that up as tight as it'll go and then turn this until it pierces I had a few little issues with it where it only sort of half pierce it and then what do you do then <laughs> it's because you haven't really tightened that up as as tight as you should so obviously your natural thing is to sort of just undo that and try and tighten it up but of course when you do that all the gas leaks out so you end up losing co2 ball but apart from that um you know but i just found that a bit of a pain i'm not keen on that that's just me anyway but i may as well take this out while i've uh, got it stripped down like so and then imagine you've got your new CO2 bulb in there, you basically just close it up like that. And you're good to go. Obviously you've got to load up your, your magazine. That's it, do that properly, just off camera. That's it, that's the closed position. And that gives you access to your, your magazine well there. Put it in the right way. That's it. But no, not a bad little pistol to be honest. Just don't like the way you have to load the, the gas. I'm um, not so keen on that safety catch. But at least he's got one, you know. But I don't know. I'm just not keen on that. It's a bit of a pain. Um, accuracy wise, uh, as we know, like I said... CO2 guns, not the most accurate, um, so it's, like I say, I've, I've not got a target to show you, it's pretty pointless, it was, uh, you know, all over the place, um, but it's good for sort of tin can bashing and stuff. This is the box by the way guys, to show you the box. Um, it will take BBs as well, I didn't try it with BBs to be honest, I was just using pellets with it. Um, like I said, blowback, you've seen that as well. Double-ended uh, magazine. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little pistol. I'll show you the uh, manual as well. Not a bad manual. Obviously tells you all your do's and don'ts. And gives you a bit of a photograph of all the bits and pieces, how to load it, how to operate the... Uh, safety catch um, I don't know, that's just my biggest gripe was just loading the CO2 with this I just found that to be a bit of a pain but yeah it's not a bad uh, manual you know just gives you all your sort of do's and don'ts and a few little tips bit of maintenance there but yeah not bad so that's it then guys just a quick review of the 
PX4 Storm, Beretta from Umarex, fun back garden plinker, just a bit of a pain to lay the gas up. Not a pain, just fiddly, just fiddly. Um, but no, not bad, not bad. And I believe these are running at around £99 here in the UK. Uh, I'll throw in a link where you can get these from. Uh, I think uh, certain places are doing uh, packages where you can sort of get this, some gas, some pellets, um, and uh, target catcher and that sort of stuff, you know, sort of all thrown in uh, with a deal. So that's not bad. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's the Beretta PX4 Storm from Umarex. That's your rack and low review. See ya.